Hi everyone, this is Dark Star, and today I'm going to do a topic that somebody requested in the comments. So, as you're watching these videos, if there's a video you want to see, if there's a topic you want me to cover, please leave it in the comments. I do read those comments, and I will do shows that you request. I take requests. Alright, I'm happy to do it show on any blackjack topic that you want. All right? I'm not very knowledgeable in other areas of life, but on blackjack, I know an awful lot, and I'd be happy to do anything related to blackjack. So, put your comments in on shows that you want to see, or let me know what you think of this particular video, good or bad. All right, and if you like the video, like it. If you don't like the video, then subscribe so that you can see other videos that you will like. I wasn't sure what the questioner meant by betting system, but most people when they talk about betting systems, they're talking about betting systems that don't have anything to do with card counting, just a strictly a betting system. Okay, that, that doesn't work. Okay, no matter what betting system you use, unless it's a betting system that works in conjunction with card counting, Okay, like Kelly betting. Kelly betting means that you bet a direct one-to-one -one proportion of your bankroll to the advantage that you have. All right, so in other words, if you have a $1,000 bankroll and you have a 1% edge, which if you're counting cards would require a true count of, I think, around three, depending on the rules, of course, and things, then you would bet... 1% of your bankroll. If you had a $1,000 bankroll, you'd bet $10. Okay? Or more realistically, if you had a $10,000 bankroll, then you could bet $100 with a edge of 1%. So if you had a true count of three, you could bet $100 if you had a $10,000 bankroll. Okay? This is not much different than the betting system that Ken Houston used that he wrote about in Million Dollar Blackjack. And I believe it's the same that they used in the book that he wrote, The Big Player, too. And so at a true count of three, they actually, just to make their betting easier, they bet three green ships at a true count of three. Okay, so $75. They, and they had, I think they did have about a $10,000 bankroll, if I'm not mistaken. That was a significant amount of money because this was in the 70s, remember, that Ken Houston was playing. And then they would bet, if they had a, a true count of four, they'd bet four green chips. Okay, true count of one, one green chip, and so on and so forth. Okay, so they just bet the number of green chips based on the count, the true count. Now, the true count was zero. Uh, they either bet zero, because they were playing with a team. So basically that means the counter would just bet the minimum. And then the big player wouldn't be called, would not be called in at that point. So once the big player got there, presumably, you know, at about a crew count of two or so, then he'd be betting 50, and then if the count dropped, he'd bet 25, and if it dropped much less than that, he'd walk away, okay? Because at anything less than a true count of one, you as the player do not have an advantage, and therefore you should be betting zero. Now, most players don't, most professionals anyway, don't use true Kelly betting because... True Kelly, would, true Kelly betting would require you to constantly adjust your bet as your bankroll constantly changes. Okay? So what a lot of us do is we bet a portion of Kelly. Okay? Say maybe half Kelly. So if you bet half Kelly, you know, then instead of that $100 bet, you'd be betting 50 Okay? That way you don't have to constantly adjust your bet up or down depending on the constant fluctuations of your bankroll. There's a great program called Casino Verite Chapter 10 that's based on Don Schlesinger's Blackjack Attack Chapter 10 that takes all the guesswork out of it for you. Based on whatever risk of losing the entire bankroll you are willing to deal with, True Kelly gives you a risk of ruin of about 13 and a half percent so if you were doing half Kelly you'd have about 
7% roughly, a little less than that. I keep my risk of ruin much lower than that. I keep my risk of ruin under 1%, believe it or not. I'm very risk averse. Uh, you will, People don't think of gamblers as being risk averse, but I'm very risk averse. So my, um, my betting system keeps my risk of losing the entire bankroll to under 1%. Now, of course, I have more than $10,000 for bankroll. All right, so it depends on your bankroll and if it's what we call a replenishable bankroll or not. If you're doing this part-time and you have a full-time job and it's no big deal to you if you lose the whole bankroll, then obviously you can take on a lot more risk. But I highly recommend getting that program. That'll help you develop a betting system based on the count. Now, if the person that asked that question was talking about betting systems that have nothing to do with the count, these are not based in math, no matter what anybody tells you. They're strictly superstition. There's two types. There's progressive, and then there's the opposite of progressive. I don't know what you'd call that. Reverse progression, I think they call it, or Martingale is another name for it. Now, the Martingale one, that one is rather interesting. I'm mean, going to get that in a second. The regular progressive ones say something like, okay, you bet. Say you, say you start off, your first bet is $25, right? And you win the $25. So now you take some of the winnings and you stack it up, right? And then if you win that, right, then you increase that by a little bit also. Maybe a little bit more this time, okay? Last time you had two red chips, this time you had three or something like that, or four, right? You keep some of the winnings and you... Uh, parlay the rest of it, or you partially parlay it, okay? The idea being that the game is streaky, right? And you win in streaks and lose in streaks. The game is not streaky. You don't win in streaks and lose in streaks. Sometimes you do, but you know why you remember the streak? Because it's rare. If there were streaks all the time, you wouldn't even remember it. You wouldn't say, wow, I was on this, you know, amazing streak, right? So, you remember the streaks because they don't happen that often. Most of the time you win one, lose one, win one, lose one, win one, lose one, you know. So, if, you know, if, if, you're, if you bet 25 and you win, okay, and then you take part of that and you increase your bet and you bet the rest of that and now you lose, well now, you, you have to take more money out of your pile just to get back to the 25, okay? Casinos love progressive betters. You ever seen a casino toss out somebody for using a progressive betting system? No. They toss out card counters all the time. They don't use progressive betting systems. Okay, there's a whole chapter in my book, by the way, on why progressive betting doesn't work, and I, sh I, I, I prove it to you. I show the math on how it doesn't work. If you're not card counting, you're better off just flat betting. Just bet the same amount every single time. It, it'll come out better than progressive every single time. Now, Martingale, this one is fun just to show you how this works, okay? So the way this works is you bet 10, and if you lose, okay, so I'm going to take the losses and I'm going to put them over here so that you can see how this works, okay? So here's the losses. You lost 10, so now you got to bet double that, okay? You double that, you bet 20. That way, if you won the 20, you would now be up 10, okay? But anyway, let's say, let's carry this out. The idea is that eventually you're going to win, right? Now, that's not always true. I have both lost every single hand in a, in a, in a shoe, and we're talking six decks, and I've also won every hand in a shoe, right? Now, that doesn't prove the streak, by the way. That's extremely rare. That happened once in all the years that I've been playing blackjack. Okay. Anyway, so you lose the 20 now, right? So now you've lost $30. And since you lost 20, you have to double up again. you got to bet 40 Okay? So now you're going to bet $40. All right? You lose that. Now you have to bet 80 Okay? 
eighty dollars. You lose that. Now you have to bet one sixty. Okay, it's double every time. Okay, one sixty. Bet one sixty. Lose one sixty. Now you can already see that you have to have a tremendous bankroll to do this, right? Because now one sixty. Now you got to bet three twenty. Okay. Now, before this gets too ridiculous, let's say you win the 320. Okay? Great, you win 320. Alright? Alright, now, that means this is your one win, the 320. This doesn't count because that was, you bet that, okay? So that's part of your money, but that doesn't represent a win or a loss. It was just the bet that you had to make to get the 320. So you won $320 and you lost all this. Okay? Which is going to equal, I didn't do this in advance, but I know already it's going to equal a little bit less than $320. You are going to have a profit. This does work a little bit. Assuming that you can keep, you don't run out of money and you don't hit the table limit. Assuming that, so you have infinite funds, and there is no limit to what the casino will allow you to bet. If that is the case, this will eventually work. You will eventually win a hand. Might take you a couple shoes, but you're going to win. Okay? So, 100, 200, 50, 1, 2, $310. $310, and over here we have $320. So you are a huge $10 winner by using the Martingale reverse progression. Congratulations. You risked your last bet before this one was $320. $320 plus the $310. $630. So you had a $630 at least. Okay. That you put at risk and you came out $10 ahead. What would Wall Street think of that, huh? $630 bet for a $10 increase. Uh, I don't know. To me, that's a lot of risk for 10 bucks. All right, so that's Martin Gale. And then I want to know the other progressions. The only true betting system that works is one that works with a card counting system and is going to be based somewhat on the Kelly criterion in most cases. In other words, you're going to be increasing your bet based on the advantage that you have or basically based on the count. The higher the count, the more you bet, the lower the count, the less you bet. All right, so hopefully that answers the question in the comments. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Let me know what you guys think. If somebody has some ideas on progressive betting, maybe you think it works. Maybe you have some anecdotal stories for me. All right, remember to subscribe. Remember to like the video, please. And may the count be with you.